theater could look like. When finished, uh, it's a partnership with Live Nation. Council members are considering whether to go forward with the venue or for a scaled down version. Well, after nearly 30 years of swinging around, the Santa Monica Pier Sea Dragon is shutting down for good. Pier representatives say it's time for some upgrades. The Dragon is one of the oldest rides on the pier. It's been closed since December. And for many, it's sad news to see it go. However, there is some good news because there's a new dragon that'll be flying into Southern California. The upgraded version will be unveiled next month. Oh, can't wait to check it out. It's 2.0, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's almost 5 a.m. Here's what's happening today in L.A. We have breaking news overseas. President Biden is in Ukraine, making a surprise visit as that country prepares to uh, mark one year since Russia's invasion. And the president is promising even more U.S. support. Closer to home, more breaking news in Fontana, where there has been a deadly shooting. It happened at a gas station, and the scene is still blocked off at this hour. We're live with the investigation. And later, you want to check that coffee before you drink it we've got the recall that's impacting starbucks lovers today in la at five starts now Good morning, everyone. It is Shmonday. Yes, Shmonday, <laughs> which is a combination of Sunday and Monday because the transition is hard. It's true. Fe February 20th, I'm Robin Winston it's in Fort Lynette. Till four in the morning, right? That's so right. Yes. I guess almost five, but yeah. yeah. But a lot of people night. have the day off because it's President's Day. Yeah. So, nice. yes, I know, right? We're working, yes. but there's some people that get to sleep in. We're Running about five degrees warmer and and me outside and summer like just that it's warmer than season. So a chilly start for some, but this afternoon the temperatures are going to be near seasonal for this time of year. So here's your Monday forecast. We're going to have rays four days with some spots hitting the 70s. The coast will have 65, the basin, Orange County 69. Put on the sunscreen, bring the sunglasses when you leave the house. Sunrise will be happening at 632. The valleys will have temperatures at 71 with just a few passing clouds. I'll take you over to the Inland Empire. 71 is your forecast in the deserts. It'll be a little breezy this afternoon, but nothing to write home about 67 and in the mountains. 47 degrees. Now after today, the temperatures will tumble and we're going to have rain and snow later this week. I'll be back to time it out for you right now. Let's check on the roads. Um, holiday light, right, Holly? Holiday light in most areas, Belen. However, we do have a couple accidents that are causing delays on the roads. One of those in the Whittier area. I've been following this crash since 4 a.m. on the South 605. At the time I mentioned the wreck, they were temporarily holding all lanes. Right now, the two left lanes are open. Open. Minimal slowing as you make your way towards the 110 and the uh, 605 on the West 91 Riverside to the five. That drive is going to take about 35 minutes here at speeds in the 70s. All looks good through Corona and Anaheim Hills and then sticking with Corona. But uh, checking out the North 71 Corona to Pomona is going to take about 15 minutes. Traffic is clear through the uh, Chino Hills area. Coming up, we will head back to the Burbank area and check out a wreck on the West 134. Adrian Robin, back to you. All right. Thank you, Holly. 502 right now we have breaking news in an unprecedented show of solidarity for Ukraine. President Biden made a surprise visit to the war torn country. He appeared with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to reaffirm America's support. NBC 4's Michelle Baez is live in our newsroom with details of this historic visit. Michelle well, first on many levels. Good morning. President Biden's surprise visit to Kiev comes at a critical time and reiterates his administration's support for Ukraine as Russia's full scale war on the country nears it's one year anniversary. President Biden met with President Zelensky in Kyiv to reaffirm that unwavering commitment to Ukraine's democracy, sovereignty, and territorial integrity, as they call it, as the war heads into 